Lafayette here. Welcome to First 15 Live. This is a drive-by episode, but it's going to be a really good one. So I'm excited about sharing with you today about the difference between people who give up and people who don't. The people who make it and the people who don't. And um, before we jump into that, First 15 Live, we're here to make sure that you spend time with God every day. Like we want spending time with God every day to go viral. That's our goal. Cat videos go viral. Justin Bieber goes viral. Um, you know, Lady Gaga goes viral. People hurting themselves and fail videos and all that goes viral. Let's make spending time with God and these devotions go viral. Come on, somebody. We got uh, 17 people jumped on here. So glad to have you. 18, it's climbing. Um, it'll keep climbing. Good morning to all. I'm driving, so I won't be able to read all your names. Um, but I'm excited to have you on here and, um, um, excited about what God's doing through these devotions. We're going to continue. We got some plans coming up for some, uh, some, some cool things and some, um, um, that we're going to be doing through our private group there. I know we've said that a couple times. So, um, Jason, I caught just your surgery thing. Prayers, please. So I'll be praying for you, man. Um, 22 and counting. Hey, if you haven't shared, go ahead and share. That's how we make this go viral. I'm going to post the verse and we're going to dive right on in. I'll post the worship video later. I, I didn't include it on my, my copy apparently, um, but it's the same one from yesterday. Uh, I want, to, want you to get it in your heart, but um, it's a good one. Uh, it's by Will Regan, I believe, and it's called um, something about waiting, not don't wait. Um, I will not or I, I, will, I will wait, I don't mind waiting, something like that. Anyway, um, good morning to all, let's dive in. So here's the verse, Galatians 6, 9. I promise you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the difference between people who make it and who don't. And it says this, let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due time we will reap if we do not grow weary. So probably many of you, if you've been in church any amount of time, you've probably heard this. Let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due time we will reap if we do not grow weary weary. Uh, and that verse makes sense. I want to give you two thoughts that maybe you haven't thought about. So here's the first one. The first thought is simply this. Um, the context, I've read this verse a million times, but, but normally I read it thinking just about, you know, people who've talked about it or preached about it and about just not growing weary in a general sense. But if you read it in context, it's actually talking about giving. Paul is talking about giving, and then in, in his discourse about giving um, to the Galatians, he says, listen, don't grow weary in doing good. And so I just want to challenge you with that straight from Scripture. Like, some of you maybe, maybe man, things have been tight, and you're wondering whether you can keep tithing, or maybe you stopped tithing because you, you felt like you couldn't, and, um, and, and God wants to challenge you to not grow weary, to keep trusting Him, and you will reap a harvest in, dear, in due season. Um, so that, that, let that just be a um, challenge for you straight from the scripture. But here's the other thing I want to challenge you with. It says not to lose heart. And that's a challenge that we all, we all face and we all get that. Like we all know life is going to hit you. Come on, somebody. Can I get some thumbs up and some uh, amens and a um, me type comment? Me if life has ever hit you before. Come on. Um, I mean, like life will hit you and give you reasons to lose heart. You'll lose somebody you love. Uh, somebody you love will go through something. I mean, sometimes going through something yourself, a sickness is rough. Sometimes it's even rougher to watch somebody you love go through it, wishing you could, you could take it for them, right? And 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 um, and the issue is, you know, God tells us here, don't lose heart. And so I can admonish you with that. But here's what I want to also admonish you with: He, by telling us not to lose heart, He's also giving us the key for not giving up. The key is to have heart in the first place. Come on, somebody. That's where a lot of us miss it. A lot of us aren't losing heart. We didn't start off with any heart. We didn't have it inside our hearts. Like, like our circumstances led us to kind of do what we're doing and follow Jesus how we're following, but the reality of it didn't sink into our hearts. And can I tell you something? That's why a lot of us, um, like even with giving, if you take the issue of giving, that's why a lot of people stop giving because they tried it they, they tried giving, but it wasn't in their heart. It wasn't a, no, I've got to do this. This is something God's compelling me to do. This is something I'm passionate about. This is something I'm hungry about. It wasn't any of that. It was, it was just something they were trying to do. And it's the same way with a lot of us where we're at. It, like, like 
Our prayer life is something we're trying to do. Reading the Bible is something we're trying to do. And it's not that we're losing heart. It's that we never had it in our hearts to begin with. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to challenge yourself this morning and say, God, what's something inside me that, that I keep struggling with? I'm on and off, on and off. And it's not because um, it's, it's, that it's, it's, you know, I'm losing heart. It's because maybe it never really sunk down into my heart to begin with. Maybe God has not really transformed my heart in that way, and, and I need God to implement that supernatural hunger inside my life. Come on, somebody. Um, some of you need to not lose heart. Others of you need to recognize you didn't have heart to begin with, and you need to get some. Get some heart. Hashtag get some heart. That's what this is all about this morning. Get some heart. I don't want you to lose heart, but many of you, you need to get heart before you lose it. Come on, that's a good word. Hey, I saw some prayer requests in there because I'm in the car, I'll have to read them later, but I will be praying for you. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to comment in here on um, maybe some areas, you could, one of two things. Let me know what are some areas that, that you feel like you need to get some heart in, that maybe you don't have your heart in it and you need to get some heart. What are some, or areas that maybe you feel like you're losing heart and you want us to pray with you and say, man, pray with me. I'm losing heart in this area and I need to, I need to get it back. Or maybe I don't have heart in this area. Let us know which one you think it is and we'll be praying for you. Um, and, and the other thing, the second thing, give us some, some, um, Give us some ways that maybe you don't lose heart, that, that you stay focused, that you keep fired up about what God's doing in your life. And let us know kind of what you do, and let's encourage each other in that. Comment on other people's comments. Let's create a little bit of community, because uh, that's what this is all about, about getting this in your heart. Get some heart. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for everybody watching this, God, that your spirit would move inside them, God. That, Lord, supernaturally, God, those who don't have heart, God, even right now as I'm praying, Holy Spirit, you would burn in their hearts, Father. I pray for those who, man, they've been struggling. They, they had some heart, but now it's it's dwindling, God, that life is, is kicking their butt. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would encourage them right now, God. Don't let them lose heart, God. Show them the harvest, Lord, and don't let them lose that harvest in Jesus' name. And I pray for all those who ask for prayer requests, God, many for healing, maybe for some other things, God. Um, Lord, for Greg and, and um, Lord, for Jason. Um, Lord, I saw Leela posted something. Lord, if that's healing, Lord, I pray for that as well. Um, Lord, I pray for uh, Miss Cindy and Miss B, God, and uh, Miss Anita, God. Miss Melinda, God, just absolute healing. Lord, for marriages that are represented here, God, that you would just bring um, healing there, God, for those that, are, that need it, God, and, and excitement and fresh vision for everyone watching, God. Uh, Lord, for those who are looking for somebody who feel lonely, God, I pray, God, that you would put the right friends, the right people in their life, God, accomplish your purpose in them. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, somebody. If you haven't shared, share this word. Hashtag get some heart. Don't forget my challenge for comments. Let us know uh, what, what are some areas where you're losing heart or maybe you didn't have heart to begin with. And now uh, let us know some ways that maybe you keep heart, that you keep fired up about what God's doing you. Like. Get some heart, share this video, uh, like our page, click the following button, hit, hit see every time we go live and let God move your life. Let's make this go viral. Come on, somebody, you're a world changer. You can change the world by helping us share and by, listen, Share. You don't have to share just on Facebook. Share this with somebody today that you come in contact with. Tell them, listen, don't lose heart. I love you. Hashtag get some heart. Hashtag world changers. Make it happen. Encourage somebody. Pray for somebody. Bless somebody today because God has put you in the place to do so. There is no plan B. There's only a plan A. It's you, the church. Let's make it happen. Love you guys.